Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brad Holzer. Fresh problem? No, because you clicked on my channel. And obviously, your boy is the one hosting. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's very snowy in Scarborough today, where I'm from. So it's very snowy. It's almost like where you guys are, but yeah. Uh, tell we've got a bit of a different setup right now. We've got all this. Yeah, I am currently in my new studio. Yeah, so there will be a video of my studio setup where I go through my equipment. Obviously, this microphone you can see here, I'm only borrowing. You're currently rested up against my other microphone, uh, which I actually record music with. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing a video that was requested a while ago, um, which is Lil Peep's vocal range. You guys have asked for a lot more Peep, so I'm going to try and give you a, li a lot more Peep. I've been super busy with my own music, uh, with work. Uh, I've been just really busy, that's why I haven't uploaded much. Uh, so I do apologise uh, if I take like a week, two weeks off. Forgive me, it's because I'm uh, neck deep in shit, basically. So yeah, this is Lil Peep, best of Lil Peep's vocal range. It's an advert first, but yeah, we move, we move. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I ain't even going to give this advert satisfaction of doing my... Oh, maybe not. The, uh, the advert skipped. Nice. So yeah, we're going to be reacting to Peep's vocal range. Obviously, I'm not going to be giving a rating out of 10 because it's unfair to do that on someone's vocal range. So yeah, let's do this. So I made these delicious donuts for, for the whole office. The whole office. Everyone was going to have enough to feed the whole Swiss Army. <laughs> Herbert walks in with the fucking sawdust all over him, shakes the... The fucking sawdust gets in the icing. Next thing I know, I'm freaking out. He's freaking out. Somebody threw a chair. Oh my gosh. Martha's stress today has been instructional. What the fuck am I listening to? Lifetime since I've woken up this morning. And the strawberries, Martha, the strawberries were all bright. I waited at the start of the video. <laughs> I was meant. That's the thing with like Pete. He has quite a monotone style voice, so it's kind of like some of his songs you kind of see like one note throughout the song, but like other songs like throughout a song, like it like it like he'll sing in one note, but then in like another song that you'll listen to, he'll sing like a lot higher or a lot deeper. And that's the thing about Pete, like he's so diverse in making different vocal ranges and different genres of music as well. It's actually quite cool. Like a lot of people in like the 2000s, obviously you had like Linkin Park. They did that quite a lot, like diverse music genres. Obviously you had Mike who could rap, Chester singing, screaming. You have quite a few at the moment. Like uh, in the modern day right now, you have Machine Gun Kelly. The guy raps. The guy's now a, a bloody punk rock musician. Sick. But Pete... Is something else, like something else. I, I've been like music fan for obviously since I was very, very young, since I was old enough to listen to music actually. And Peep is one of the most diverse musicians I've ever heard in my entire life. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, 
it'll go from one note and it'll go higher and then it'll like back to that same note. It's it's quite cool. It is actually quite cool. I actually like the uh, the song he's playing now, White Tea. I actually really like that song as well. If you see me singing along or bobbing my head, just go with it. become a problem that now that I'm currently uh, writing my third album at the moment, like finishing off my third album, and I've actually got a song that's inspired by Pete. It's a song called Burning Houses, and some of the lyrics are like something you'd hear in like a Peep song. So, yeah. I blame you bastards. I blame you. <laughs> you guys wanted more Pete reactions I'm addicted. Once. <laughs> That's why I've just reacted to this song, haven't I? Being a boy. I'm gonna have to go back and have a look. I don't think I've reacted to this, you said, but I have heard it. One of my best friends played me. So when you think of iconic face tattoos as well, you instantly think of like Post Malone, Lil Peep, and the rainbow, and the rainbow idiot. And that guy, yeah. Live vocals. That's the amazing thing about him. He's got perfect live vocals. For a fact, I've just reacted to this. It's not on my fucking playlist. It's meant. I was quite good at that album. Star Shopping. I fucking love this song. Literally fucking love this song. One thing I've always respected about P, and I'm not sure if this is because, like, no big venues would book him, but he's always known for playing like really small, intimate gigs. And I always like that about musicians when they play like small gigs, because then, then they're more connected with the fans. 
obviously you've got people like Ed Sheeran, the Foo Fighters, Metallica, who are playing like massive American football, English football stadiums. It's crazy. But I like the smaller venues, like when you're there with like 200 other people and you're here and, this, uh, and the guy's like literally straight in front of you. It's sick. It's like musicians who walk around the stage as well. That's the key to a good showman, though. If you're just stood in one place, like that, boring. Fucking boring. I ain't done a show yet, but all I'm saying, you guys will know when I do a fucking show, because I will probably film it. Uh, yeah, and it'll be energetic as fuck. The smile on his face then when the crowd sang back. The smile on his face. That's how you know you've done it. That's how you know you've made a fucking good song. If the fans sing back to you. That's how you know you've done good. Not bad at all. Beep. His vocal range is fucking good. I've explained most of it throughout the video, so I'm not really going to explain past the video. But I like it. I think he's got a very unique voice and very unique style to sing in. And he does that while putting on a show. Obviously, you've seen in, I've seen in the clips, like, he invites fans on stage. So, yeah. That's what I like about Pete. He's, he's so versatile. He is a showman, and he wants the best for fans. That's that's the amazing thing about musicians, when they are like that. And I'm sure if people were still alive today, he'd be up there with the best. He'd be up there with some of the best performers in the world. Honest to God. And I don't think he'd be... I think he'd still be playing small, intimate gigs. Honest to God, I don't think people would be in, like, the massive, like fuck off venues like if you're in England Leeds First Direct Manchester Arena O2 Wembley like I don't think he'd be there I think he'd be playing like smaller little venues like the O2 Brixton uh, and universities and colleges like because that's the type of performer he seems to be and he's getting good at it as well so yeah right thank you guys very very much for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed this video please remember to hit that like and subscribe button we are two subscribers away from 110. Let's hit it. Let us hit that 110. Let's do it, boys. Right. Love you guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Remember, look after yourselves. Look after each other. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.